Что? Я все это фу -фу -фу. Ты молодцом, не зря тебя в рейнджера взяли. Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Metro Last Light. We're in dangerous territory here. Well, I gotta do one thing before we move on. There's a new note. The Dark One was here at the Reich concentration camp, but he's long gone. Well, that means I'll just have to follow him. The mission assigned to me by Miller still stands. I will find the Dark One, and then I'll decide what to do next. If that Nazi was telling the truth, and he really did sell the creature to Hansa traders, now the Dark One can be just about anywhere. Hansa occupies the right ring line of Moscow Metro and is a union of trading stations. They still have regular train service with cargo and passenger caravans. And one day the Dark One may surface on the other side of the Metro. I might have lost him now. I don't know how the Dark One avoided torture and execution. Now Nazis regularly hang people for having a wrongly shaped skull, so a creature like the Dark One should see him in an embodiment of evil and corruption to them. Should. Hmm. Maybe there are... All hypocrites. Anyway, moving on. Oh. Охрана дорогу. So there is actually a another thing for listening to the entire Führer's speech. Where, where are you going, buddy? the last checkpoint. Why? Oh, god damn it. Okay, hold on. I might have to reload this level. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna load the level again because apparently you have to just stop and listen to him. Alright. Try this again. There we go. Now we've listened to the whole speech. We actually weren't that far off. I just didn't shouldn't have moved forward that last little bit. Come on, Pavel. It's not until we get up a lot closer that uh, this section activates. And yeah, we've got to run. Goodness. What do you mean, hurry? I'm faster than you right now. I got there before you even activated the prompt. 
Oh my god. You actually don't have to shoot them. You could just <laughs> crouch and be totally fine. And you get the clean escape achievement if you just don't get stopped or anything like that. Нам удалось невозможное. Теперь моя задача предупредить орден, что черный пропал. Это значит признаться, что задание провалено. Но теперь, когда черный попал в метро, в одиночку мне его не разыскать. Нужно выбраться на ближайшую нейтральную станцию. А оттуда в полис, в штаб ордена. Павел покажет дорогу. Well, we hope he'll show us the right way. Yeah, dead ends are bad. What are you what are you doing? Oh no. Why? Why, Pavel? Why? Alright. Some equipment in there. Not a bunch of stuff, but a little bit. Always want to take as much as you can when you see the options. Also, there's an achievement for apparently uh, not breaking lights, but turning them off. So that's cool. Uh oh. That's not good. Ты смотри, какой лавкач. А ну, мужики, тащи его на пост. Слышь, а если он не один тут? Внимание, второй пост. Oh, crap. Well, they're opening the doors because they're checking for me. So they're gonna go check the dead end out. Meanwhile, we can slowly make our way forward. If we're careful. Unfortunately, I don't know if there's any way to get through here safely. Well, we can try. You had like immediately left. Yeah, if you had immediately left, there's a safe space. And then you could go up there. That noise means you're close to being discovered. Oh, I think somebody saw me. Oh, dang it. All right, hold on. I'm going to load the last checkpoint. Because there was something I was doing, right? It was definitely the way to go. But there's definitely a way to get through this unseen. 
All right. Slowly walk forward. Immediately to the left. There's that. Ah, I see. Nope. They already see me? Hmm. Yeah, the, there's got to be a way to do this. Okay, there is a way. I'm not crazy. I'm just going to shoot that light real quick. They'll go about their business in a second. I wonder if I just broke their AI a little. Whoa. That wasn't broken before, I don't think. Are they going to continue on their normal way? Out of curiosity? They do. Isn't that interesting? Okay. So now we have two options. We can either go right or go left. Okay. Damn it. I don't know how anybody does that. I looked at a video where somebody did that. How did this wall break last time? That's what I'm really confused about. Just random wall breaking. Anyways, uh, if we just wait for them to go through, this actually like skips their dialogue, which makes it a little quicker, surprisingly. So that's nice. Are they turning the other way? Okay. It just breaks if you go near it or something. That's weird. Okay. So maybe. Can I just shoot it from here? Ooh. Ooh, I did. Look at that. So now that that light's out... Oh, that guy comes over. I got a checkpoint. All right, so we can go over here. Oh, oh. hello. We just gotta. Keep out an eye for the folks that are walking around. That guy's, what, checking the light? Well, you know what? Just gonna knock him out. Nobody can see him, because he's in the darkness, technically. Unfortunately, there's a guy over there. Although I think he might be sleeping. Unscrew that light bulb. Ooh, bunch of guys right there. Probably don't want to take them on immediately. Can't go over there. Well, they saw me, I think. 
Может, конечно, и крысы почувствовать. I don't think they actually saw me. I think I'm okay. Okay, I gotta be very careful going through this place. So he goes off to the back. First things first, I'm gonna grab that note. Oh, I think they noticed me. Dang it! I don't know how. God damn it. Alright, I'm gonna reload the last check. I don't even know where the last checkpoint was. Probably down here? Yeah. Alright. So, there is a way to do all this stealthily. Oh, goodness gracious. That guy's a big problem. The guy up there. So he's going to go check out this. Take this guy out. Both of them leave at a certain point. Problem is, they'll see if I go over that way. So I can't even do that. Who saw me? Who saw me? Or started to see me? That guy is a problem. I am wondering if I can take out this guy while he's over here. Take out that light. He has a shotgun. I mean, I guess I should also take out the two guys that are going down to the dead end. But I guess it's not really a Splinter Cell game. Only if they come back. My guy's dozing off. Let's see. I wish I could, like make a checkpoint or do a quick save. Is there a quick save button? Uh, no. It's just a checkpoint system. Dang it. What the what? Huh. Okay, so we should take out the guys on the bottom floor first. So he goes to check that thing every now and then? What's your patrol? Nope, you didn't see anything. Yes, it was just rats. Gosh, I wish I had a lean button. Unscrew that light bulb. Take some bullets.
we'll get an achievement for unscrewing light bulbs. Ooh, we got a key of some sort. No one. You didn't see anything. Ooh. Even better. Pistol. Oh no, it's a silenced one-shot shotgun thing. What do you have? You have shotgun... Okay. And we'll take the ammo from your guns. So I need to be quick about getting both of those guys. But also there's that dude. I don't know if he's rocking out to music or if he's asleep. I think we're in the right place. Can knock you out. And you will stop right at the end here. And I knock you out. Bam. Okay. I'm gonna swap my bastard gun for yours, because yours is clearly a little bit better. Anything worthwhile here? I already got the note. We'll take a look at the note in just a second. Okay. Going silently really is the best bet in these games. Any more lights I could... Not destroy, but... Is that a bastard gun with a silencer? Ooh, I would... Much rather have the silencer, actually. If only you could take the mods off of the other guns. I don't understand why you can't. Alright, cool. We now have a bunch of silenced weapons. What's going on with you, buddy? Ah, okay. To get to him, you go this way? No? No? Because he's clearly awake. I can't just walk out in front of him. But how the heck do you get past him? God damn it, getting this far. I don't want to screw it up now. Ooh. Okay. All right. God damn. The whole thing. Really? You know what? It worked. I'm okay with that. It was a whole thing. But you know what? We did it. We took down everyone silently. Got a bunch of ammo for our troubles. And I don't typically use shotguns in these games, so... We can sell all those shotgun shells. Yep. Surrender, please. So we got another note here. Let's read these notes real quick. When I heard Fuhrer's hysterical ramblings, all the pieces of the puzzle started falling together. The assaults on our patrols, them capturing me as a Polis representative, the existence of D6 is no longer a secret, and total war in the Metro is approaching. Having a guide like Pavel sure puts my mind at ease. It seems he'd be he'd been here before, and Reich's peculiarities don't surprise him. I wish I knew what kind of mission he was on, but I can't find the right moment to ask. But Pavel seemed to know that Reich was poised for war beforehand. While to me this was a revelation, 
The tales of stores we found in D6 are already circulating through the metro. The order was not going to find the going to hog the find, but we're running out of time to explain this. Reich is almost at the order's throat trying to take the vault. So what's going to happen when the red line and Hansa find out about the bunker? So that's what the war Miller was talking about. All right, well, obviously we don't want to kill this dude, but you can knock him out. You don't get anything bad for knocking him out. So that's nice. Turn off his light for him. You definitely don't want to kill him. Because you'll lose morality points. Um, I wonder, did I lose morality points? No, I guess I don't get any morality points for that. Invisible intruder. Yep. So you, you get achievements for completing these levels silently. Which is what I'm going for. I don't know if I gained or lost any morality there. Maybe I should have just left him alone? Weird. Weird. All right, so here we are, next level. Artyom, блин, Артемыч, я знал, что не бросишь меня. Мы с тобой как эти, как мушкетеры, один за всех и все за одного. Я тебе по гроб жизни. Достань только меня отсюда, а я тебя к твоим выведу в два счета. Дьявол, это за мной, за мной идут на вешалку. Давай, брат, не подведи, на тебя вся надежда. He calls us those musketeers. I guess I'm D'Artagnan in this circumstance. Alright. Don't get spotted in the vent. Alright, so there's a way out here. That's the way that the game forces you to drop, unfortunately. So we should act quick. Make sure you turn off this oil lamp. Get some morale points for watching that whole scene before interacting with anybody. Where he calls his mother a whore. Turn that off. Alright, so we learned about um, We learned about a, one of their s secret stashes So if you take this guy out early You won't get anything nice 
когда-то дерьмо починит, а? Wait until he's done with the intercom, and then follow him. He's gonna go back here. And he's gonna use a key he has to open up a locker. And now you can knock him out once he opens up the locker. And that's his special pistol that he was talking about. Silenced with a stock and a grip. So we're going to get that thing. Better than that one for sure. Alright. I think we're all good here. Can't open the other lockers of course. Alright. Okay. Now we can continue this mission the right way. Nope. Wait until this guy's going the other way. Because he'll put his back to us in a moment. Once he's on this left side, it's a little easier to take him out. Come on. Go over to the left side, please. Yep, and he restarts his whole routine. So we're just going to knock him out there. Take all of his stuff. They have the option to turn off another light. That was weird. Alright, so that middle area is a little dangerous. We're going to have to take it slow. Problem here is the lights. There's a lot of lights. So I believe we can go up. And it's a little safer up here. Listen to their conversation and turn off some lights. Now be careful here. You could get yourself into a real pickle. You can turn off the lights and it does help out. But it does make them a little uh, cautious. We're still going to do it. So basically he's like, that guy's like an electrician in training and that guy's the one overseeing him. So we're just going to let him have a little nap. Unfortunately, it only turns off the lights up here for some reason. Also, if you're really unlucky, you could end up uh, hitting them. Like, don't hit them while they're walking on here because you could end up just totally hitting them off the thing. All right, looks like there's only two guys left here. So we can take our time and go through and be safe. Pick that guy out. Once this guy's over here, 
I take him out. And then it's just the person watching the front. Which I end up taking out last all the time. Because he just sort of hangs out here. He's working on a gun. Okay. Now we can be safe and look through here. Search this area thoroughly. Oh, shit. Fuck. This is bad. He doesn't actually normally open that door like that. Nope, you didn't see me. You didn't hear anything either. Ooh. That almost ended very poorly. The dude in the bathroom. At a checkpoint. Okay. So we do want to follow the folks into the shower. We don't want to go down that way. Whew. Whew, 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 whew. I'll take your gun. Thank you very much. Yeah, basically he's a little weakling. Begs for his life. Which is actually the smart thing to do. Okay, so that's the way to go, I think. I'm not going to kill you. I'm... Okay, so... Maybe I did miss something? Or, no, never mind. I didn't. I don't think I missed anything. But we definitely leave this guy alone. You could kill him if you want, but... You just lose morale for it. Anybody that surrenders if you kill them... Is bailed. And we get good morale for not killing him. Okay. Go for careful here. Okay. That's that. We gotta be careful here too. Again, there's usually an achievement for making it through every area without, you know, getting any alarms, which is why I'm going to be re reloading a lot of checkpoints, especially later. Ooh, there's a bunch of guys over there. Well, kind of have to turn this off. So that guy's going to go over. We're going to knock him out when he gets over there. I think the idea is cross while the lights are out, but I don't know. I'm going to try this. Why? Well, because... Hmm. 
And then before he turns it on... Okay. I don't know if there's any way to... Knock those guys out. Or at least not from here. Ooh, hello. Might have been a bad place to knock him out. Or maybe not. He's kind of hanging on... ...a spot where it'll be okay. Big fluorescent lights that I can't turn off, unfortunately. Oh, crap. Is he going over to check on his buddy? Are they just talking, or...? He's heading back over here? Okay, weird. By the way, if you walk into this vent, there's an extra room down here. Can I do this without alarming the other guy? Oh, I can. Perfect. Okay. Cleared out room number two. And his gun fell through the floor. So that's the way to go. But. If we go back over here. And we, uh. Go into this vent. It's an extra little room. Goodies. Another light source you can turn off. And we get some more morale points for some reason for accessing that area. And it leads you to the same spot. I guess because it's like the total silent way of doing things. But knocking people out doesn't actually harm your uh, morale rating at all. Okay, well, there's a sewer area there. No one saw anything. So who comes to check this thing? Ooh, hello. Just gonna take your stuff. Does anyone come to check this? Got morale for listening to their conversation. Wait, because I turned the lights off during their conversation, does no one check it? Huh. Well, that's interesting. Oh, hello. It's gonna knock you out right here. Oh, crap. I fucked up. I fucked up. That's a big fuck up. Because they're gonna see the body. And they're gonna raise an alarm. No? Really? I cannot believe I got away with that. I am dumbfounded, flabbergasted. He fell into the tires. That's pretty funny, actually. Yes, go off into the corner, sir. The dark corner. Well, no one will find you. Especially after I turn off the light. My God. 
I should not have been that lucky. I did not deserve that one bit. Big turbine here, some goodies. So you can go through the water and pretty much come out here. Um, but you don't get the option to turn off the light if you do that. Someone almost saw me, I think. Or was going to see me. Nope, not up there. So... Let's see. What's the way forward from here? I mean, there is that catway walkway that we can go on, but let me... I mean, if I'm really careful, did I just take out that guy over here? No. Nothing. We didn't see anyone. You saw nothing. Understood? Nothing. And then there's a captain walking around up here. We can just... There we go. Knock him out. I don't remember what that lever does. Let's pull it. Opens that. I see. What are you doing back here, dude? I don't know what you're doing, but I'm just going to knock you out for good measure. Because we're getting a ton of ammo. And as we said before, ammo can be used to sell. Uh, okay, so that guy, I'm just going to go around the back. I've, I've been getting very, very, very lucky with these stealth kills. I should not be as lucky as I am. Ooh, oh. What? Go fuck yourself. Alright, well, we killed one person, but it was only after they shot at me, so I don't lose any morality for that, actually. I just lose some ammo. I'm calling shenanigans on that, though. Whoa! Spawned heavies? For no goddamn reason? Okay. That sounds fair. God damn it. No, but he raised an alarm, didn't he? I gotta load the last checkpoint if I want this achievement. How far back does it put me, though? Oh. Okay, actually not that far back. Okay. Not bad. We can deal with this, actually. That guy's a problem. Are they having a conversation and it's just not loaded? Yes, rats did that. Rats took out the lights. 100%. If I take you out here... That guy doesn't notice, and that guy goes into the back room. Bonk. Take out that light. 
Anything over here? What's the point of this room? Alright, I don't know what the point of this room is, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Turn off all the lights. Oh, did he just hear me? Because I wasn't crouching? It doesn't matter. Oh. It's like, just does not have anything, huh? Okay. Interact with this. Open up. The ending to the level. We definitely want to go back and get that stuff, but first, there's a note over here. Basically, the Metro never knew any lasting peace. The United Administration lasted for just a few years. It all fell apart by itself when it became obvious that the world was no more, that the rumors of the president and government surviving and escaping were somewhere behind the Urals were just that, rumors, and that Russia was no longer rising from the ashes. After that, it was every man for himself. The stations turned into city-states, and yesterday's neighbors turned into better enemies. Survival in the metro meant struggle for food, air, and every square inch of habitable ground. Hardly a quarter survives today because of those 200 thousands who found their salvation from the Judgment Day in the metro. Hansa, the Red Lion, and the Reich have grown so large because they were stronger than the others and fought with more determination. But not once throughout these 20 years of bloodshed was the fighting enveloped the whole of the metro. What if our tiny underground world is facing a new final world war? That's a terrifying thought, right? There's a key. What is this key for? I do not actually remember. What the heck is this key for? Not for those lockers. I'll take you out. There is a method to why I'm taking out everybody. Like, I'm not just doing it because I want to. It is legitimately a better idea to take everyone out. So did I just get unlucky and got you on the moment that you turned around? I sure did. By the way, if you execute somebody by shooting them one they're down, that does actually count as a death. You can, in fact, kill someone after you knock them out. And that does not do well for your uh, good person rating, as I like to call it. I'm curious. I don't remember what that... Turn around, sir. And that is turned around. We can go over and safely knock him out. There we go. No alarms. Okay. And no more people left to make the alarms go off anyway. Uh, there's a bunch more shotgun shells. Now I should figure out what that key is for. Because sincerely, I don't remember. It's not for anything in here. Oh god, these are safe keys. Oh man. Uh I yeah, I've completely forgot that there are safes. Okay, so Do I, did I see the safe? Is it in here? Oh, it is in here. Oh, wow. You don't get an interact thing until you're, like, right up onto it. So I did miss one safe uh, in uh, the previous level, but it's not that big of a deal. I mean, there's no achievements for getting all the saves, I think. But, whatever. You have to do two playthroughs in this game anyway to get everything, so not a big deal. Anyways, let's finish the level. Oh, God. Undo this trap. All 
Well, and this is the end of the level. We get Invisible Savior. Knock them out. Save Pavel. <laughs> oh wow, they don't actually don't have any ammo. Come on, Pavel. Yes, I'm with you. Let's go. Oh no. We get separated. Or not. He pulls us through. Right as the thing closes on us. Oh my god. Я вытащил Пашу из петли. А он обещал доставить меня как можно ближе к полису. Дальше все ясно. Я найду там людей из ордена и сообщу им о том, что случилось. Но путь к легендарной театральной лежит через катакомбы. Я никогда раньше не бывал в этих местах. И без своего нового друга, думаю, наверняка тут потерялся бы. Надеюсь, он знает дорогу. Well, we'll find out if he knows the way next time. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye!